Hi, my name is James Klum. I get a lot of questions about implants and how we're applying them in the CEREC clinical theater, particularly now with 4.0. I'm gonna be pretty vulnerable here. CEREC people, I consider myself one of them, we have this thing about control. In other words, we want that control in the clinical theater. I want that control with the way I apply circular implants. Therefore, I don't want to be scanning and setting off a record to a lab to have them make a zirconium implant abutment so I can just make the crown on it later. I want to do the whole deal. You know, as CEREC users, we're very creative, at least I am. And so I want to share with you what I've done in my CEREC clinical theater to adapt. In other words, I order the tie bases, but I manage my own abutments and my crowns using Emacs. In fact, as long as I have a screw retentive angle where I can use screw retentive access within my crown, I'm scanning in the tie base designing my own emergence and making a solid abutment crown implant. I've done a number of them lately and they're really going smooth. In fact, they go as smooth as anything I've ever done with my CEREC. I look forward to sharing that with you on my CEREC Liftoff series. You can have access to that if you become a member. That's my online tutoring and mentoring. And I will be presenting my approach with this at CEREC 27 and a half. Hope to see you there and you can get a foretaste of that if you become a CEREC Liftoff member.